are winding down these Eastern Conference Finals. We can see the end of the tunnel from here. Game six. Go watch the Orlando Magic in this one as they go up against the Chicago Bulls. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And from the sidelines tonight, we have David Aldridge. off the tip. Hardaway with it. Shaq with the screen. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. The drive by Jordan. Nice D from Scott. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Anderson passes to Hardaway. Back to Anderson. Over Kukoc. Not going to go that time. And in Chicago the other way. Here's Pippen. Outside Jordan. Over O'Neal. Here's Longley. And finished off by Longley. You know, in some ways, Longley makes a little jam like this look really easy. And you know why? Because it is. He's 7'2". Just reaches up and throws it down. Now, here's Anderson. And Scott has it in the corner. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great position. Passes it to Armstrong. He kicks it to Pippen. Here's Jordan. O'Neal with the rebound. He thought that one was going down as soon as it left his hands. Well, with good reason. That was a great look. Just bad luck it didn't go down. Pass to Hardaway. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Anderson finds Grant. Five to shoot. This one for three. Anderson can't get it to go. Defense got all kinds of fortunate right there. Usually he take full advantage of that situation. I'm sure he'll take another shot at it if they keep giving him openings. Now here is Hardaway. Following the miss by Michael Jordan. Pass to Scott. Here's O'Neal. And Anderson has it in the corner. It's a very good look and converts. Boy, good work from the big, big man. Shaq knows exactly when to find the open man. Now here's Pippen. Outside, Kukos. Now the pass to Jordan. To the paint. Here's Longley. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Over seven feet tall, Longley is a load on the glass. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And then slammed in by Jordan. And what a finisher Jordan is on these slams. Putting on a show for the fans. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Anderson outside from deep. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Here's Pippen. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. I love to see Pippen hunting his shot, especially when he's got the position he wants inside. Hardaway against Armstrong. Outside Hardaway. Scott finds Grant from the baseline. That one misses. And it's Chicago the other way. And here's Pippen. There's the pick. Outside Kukoc. 
And Scotty Pippen the bucket on the assist by Kukoc. Pippen's got his second bucket tonight. Excellent vision from Kukoc. He sees a ready shooter and makes sure the ball gets in his hands. Passes it to Scott. Now here's Shaq. Shot to stop the run, and the layup is up and in. Try as hard as they might, the defense can't easily stop Shaq. His large frame and athleticism really helps him bully his way to the bucket. Pippen, the pass to Kukoc. Longley against O'Neal. Jordan, high post. Six on the shot clock. Stolen by O'Neal. Now Anderson. Outside, Scott. And he's good on the three ball. And that's exactly what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Bulls leading. Armstrong with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Longley passes to Jordan. Outside Pippen. Fires from deep. And a check with the rebound. Boy, they dodged one right there, didn't they? Yeah, he won't miss a look that wide open very often. Scott kicks to Hardaway. Pass to O'Neal. And here is Scott. The kick out to Anderson. And the rejection by Pippen. Pippen putting in the work to get there for the denial. That was really a nice hustle play. With one on the clock. And Shaq with the slam. All-out effort for the putback. Beautiful. A thunderous two points. He knew what to do with the board. Fantastic play. Outside, Kuko. Back to Jordan. Out to Kuko. And nothing is falling for him right now. And it's Anderson with the ball for the Magic. Hardaway for three. Chicago trailing here. Here is Armstrong. Long lead passes to Armstrong, and it's sent back by O'Neal. Nice timing on that rejection from Shaq, demonstrating why. You gotta take him seriously as a defensive player when he's lurking near the bucket inside. Well placed, L.U. pass into the left. What a lob! My goodness, now that's a pair of teammates on the same page. Well said, going airborne for that connection. Showing great control and a soft touch to finish that play. Here's Jordan. It's blocked by Shaq. Anderson passes to Grant. Nice pass. Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Now it's a five-point magic lead. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. But they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Pippen. Good, and the assist Time goes to Jordan. Pippen's got six. The Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Now a timeout called by Orlando. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Will Purdue's check in for Long. Bushler comes in for Scotty Pippen. Harper, he's checked in for Jordan. And Kerr is subbed in for B.J. Armstrong. Now here is Hardaway. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Hardaway against Kerr. Kicks it to Harper. Pass to Bushler. And here's Purdue. And there's the pass to Curry. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, oh, he wishes he had that one back. Here's O'Neal, and the dunk by O'Neal. You know, even when you try to box out Shaq, he's still capable of grabbing the board. He's really just a hard, difficult matchup. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Jordan, he's checked in for Chicago. Bulls trail by five. Now, here's 
Kerr. Passes to Kukoc. Jordan with it. Out to the right wing. Here's Kerr. Offensive rebound. And it's Orlando's ball. This run now up to 13-2. He takes it in. Harper dishes to Jordan. Pass to Kerr. 18 feet out. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. So good at working off the ball. Kerr knows how to get himself into the right position so that he can capitalize off the catch and shoot. Here is Shaw. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Reynolds. Connects from three-point range. And the Magic lead by six. I don't think the defense saw him as a threat, but he takes full advantage of that with a nice long-range shot. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc, to the inside. And slammed on by Jordan. MJ showing us all how it's done. Magic leading by four. Way up top, guarded by Jordan. A three-pointer off the mark. You know, he's taking shot after shot after shot, but still can't break out of this cold streak. At this point, it's all mental. He's in his own head, not letting the shots come naturally. Now here's Jordan. Kerr outside. Good on the triple. Now just a one-point magic lead. Kerr, one of the best three-point marksmen. In the NBA is form, lease, efficiency, perfect. O'Neal is green on Jordan. Here's Hardaway. He hits that shot, his first of the night. Now one for six. Shaq doing a nice job setting that screen. Bulls trail by three. Now Kerr. He's got five. Outside, Kukoc. And it's Shaquille O'Neal with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. English, he's checked in for Hardaway. Substitution for your magic, AJ English. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter of the game. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Boy, great finish that time by Coop Coach and his improved upper body strength on display there. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. A free throw off from Kukoc. And so English will bring it up for the Magic. They won their last game. That was Thursday night. Reynolds passes to O'Neal. Here's Reynolds. Guarded by Kukoc. English looking around. Just five to shoot. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, I think that was a message-sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. And he's good on the second. Here is Kerr. 115 left in the first. Outside, Kukoc. It's Jordan on the wing. And they double up Jordan. Back to Kukoc. Jordan inside, and it's Jordan with the jam. Great job finishing that playoff. Yeah, very secure. Wasn't it, Clark, using both hands? Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy. Textbook. Now, here's English. 44 seconds left to play here in the first. Inside, just five on the clock. O'Neal, good. Great play by English to set it up. Shaq's got 12. Boy, they keep feeding Shaq, and he keeps scoring. The big guy giving his team exactly what they want. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. He plays with so much ferocity, erasing that size mismatch clearly. He won't be bullied in there regardless of the height disadvantage. And Shaq with the slam. This is how dominant Shaq is inside, just powering it down whenever he sees the opportunity. I mean, he's all about brute force and finishing. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. A 
11 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here is Shaw. The alley play a very well done. Right from the jump, these teams have been on fire offensively. It certainly made this an exciting early game. Bassist just keep falling. And so the first quarter is in the books. Orlando out in front, up four. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. Back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Orlando. Bulls trail by four. Harper with the ball. No points in the game yet for him. It's Pippen on the win. He's covered by Anderson. Pippen, no luck. Magic leading by four. Here's Shaw. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. And it's Pippen in the corner. Five oh! <laughs> a display of true artistry. Pippen giving the fans a show with the jam. Bumchik shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. A pass to Kite. Grant surveying the D. Orlando making some changes. Scotty's checked in for Shaw. Hardaway is subbed in for English. Blunt, he's checked in for the Bulls. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. And here's Armstrong. He kicks to Harper. Passes it to Armstrong. Here's Blunt. Down low. And Harper slams it in. You know, we talk about Pippen's versatility a lot. And with good reason. There he's showing you a superb court awareness with that pass. The Magic have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. Here's Anderson. There it is, his second make of the game. He's missed five. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Pippen. And it goes down two points. Pippen's got it all tied up now for the Bulls. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Grant, right side. Chicago foul. Long ball. First personal foul. First team foul. Here are the Magic now. Outside Hardaway. Six to shoot. Here's Scott. And he's way off from outside. And you can bet he's going to keep taking these shots. Even though he missed them, that's not going to shake his confidence. Sacrificing his body, putting it on the line right there. That takes tremendous grit. Taking charges, not for the faint of heart. Chicago making a switch here. Simpkins checked in. The Magic have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Here's Hardaway. Here's Scott. Buries the long-range jumper. Scott's got six. And Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Boy, what a terrific passer he is. Great floor awareness and does an excellent job finding the open man. Armstrong passes to Blunt. And the slam dunk by Pippen. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball move. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. Jordan's checked in for Ron Harper. Michael Jordan.
The Magic have gone two of six on the field in the second quarter so far. Hardaway passes to Kite. On the wing, Hardaway. Orlando moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Grant with the screen on Pippen. Hardaway with a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Bulls have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Pass to Pippen. Here's Blunt. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Jordan passes to Blunt, and Grant sends it back. One of the better defenders in this game, Grant, teeing off on that one. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in your face. High energy plays like that one are winning plays. Just two to shoot. Stolen by Anderson. Here's Hardaway. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Look at Penny getting out ahead for the finish. Bulls trail by three. Now Armstrong to the left wing. Here's Blunt. Pass to Jordan. Over Anderson. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Simpkins got his first bucket in this one. And the defense must put a body on this guy. When you don't, you can expect him to make you pay for these mistakes. Side Hardaway. The pass to Grant. Over Blunt. No good from Grant. Boy, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Pippen, the pass to Jordan. Here's the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. With the fadeaway. Good. Jordan's got ten points. He is money from there. Jordan is so comfortable operating from mid-range. Hardaway with it. Outside, Scott passes it to Kite. Outside, Hardaway. Grant with a screen on Pippen. The Magic need to get a shot off here. It's good. He's got six. And Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Boy, what a terrific passer he is. Great floor awareness and does an excellent job finding the open man. Here's Armstrong. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Jordan, the pass to Blunt. Fades away. In Chicago with another bucket. And right now, MJ has it going on. His teammates should just continue to get him the rock. Now here is Hardaway. Pass to Scott. And Anderson has it in the corner. Over Jordan. Anderson's shot is off. And it's puzzling to me why he elected to fade away. He should have just gone right up with it. Bad miss. Pippen, the pass to Blunt. He feeds it to Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. Love when MJ finishes with strength, leaving no room for error with the slam. The Magic trail by three. Outside Hardaway. Kicks it to Scott. And here's Anderson from the arc. Anderson can't get that one to fall. That might as well be a layup if you give him that much space. You have to do a better job of taking away space from him, especially when he's lining up in a three. Here is Armstrong. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Three-pointer. Scott pulls it in. 
The defense has to feel fortunate with that miss. He's not usually the guy you want to leave open from downtown. Baseline try. That is good. And the Bulls lead is back to just one in the basket from Penny Hardaway. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the ball. Armstrong passes to Pippen. To the middle. Armstrong gets the bucket. You know, with all the other things Pippen does so well, sometimes I think we forget how good a passer he is. Orlando's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for that. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Chance checked in for Orlando. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Purdue is checked in for Simpkins. Kukoc comes in for Blount. Bushler is checked in for Pippen. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Armstrong. Hardaway passes to Scott. Here's the lob to the hoop. Grant kicks to Hardaway. Magic moving the ball around. O'Neal dishes to Scott. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. That's the hustle you get with Grant. Terrific at hitting the glass with a purpose. Chicago leading. Kerr outside. Pass to Jordan. Back to Kerr for the three. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And here is Scott. He has six. Feeds to O'Neal. And Coach Hall here, and it looked to be an intentional foul. I'm not really sure why he did that. Maybe as a miscommunication. Orlando making some changes. Reynolds is checked in for Scott. Shaw comes in for Anderson, and it's English in for Hardaway. Simpkins, he's checked in for the Bulls. Now, here's English. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Now, Kerr. the pass to Jordan. Back to Kerr. Let's the three fly. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And even three on three break. Here's English. Pass to O'Neal. Outside English. Back to O'Neal. And stolen by Jordan. Here's Kerr. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Jordan's got five assists tonight. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Shaq passes to Shaw, and stolen by Jordan. And then slammed in by Jordan. You know, Jordan doesn't need any help there. I mean, his athleticism is really on another level. So English will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. It's a five-point game. One fifty-two left here in the second. O'Neal, it's good on the putback. What hustle on the offensive glass, finding ways to capitalize, paying off that hard work. Jordan outside, and there's the call on Michael Jordan. That's his first foul. Boy, defensively, that's great anticipation. Moving his feet and drawing the whistle. Unafraid to put his body on the line. 133 left in the first half of the game. Here is Shaw. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. O'Neal and Shaq with the slam. Big game for the big guy so far. Shaq really asserting himself on the offensive end. Jordan, the pass to Kerr. Here's Simpkins. Out 
left to the wing. Lock at six. Shaq against Purdue. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Orlando trailing here. English looking around. Pass to Reynolds. And again, it's Orlando converting. Already seven lead changes. These teams are really going after each other. Boy, I tell you, it's been a brutal game to play in, but a fun one to watch, partner. Now, here's Jordan. 16 points for him. Simpkins passes to Jordan. Fades back, and the shot is good. Jordan's got 18 points in the game. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat, just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay hot. Now into the lineup for Chicago. Luke Longley, Ron Hall. For three. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! What an ending to the first half. Buzzer beating three to take the lead. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Magic lead by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. Really an incredible game from Shaquille O'Neal. The way he's been working him in the paint has been outstanding, just doing whatever he wants to down there. Yeah, he's been flexing on them, and they've offered little to no resistance in stopping him. They have to get more assertive and have to guard him much better. Chicago trailing here. Now Armstrong. Pass to Pippen. Pass to Jordan. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Pippen's got three assists tonight. Orlando with the ball. Outside Hardaway. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Jordan. Here's Pippen, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The defensive instincts of MJ kicking in. Terrific at sensing when to go for the steal. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Scotty Pippen at the line for one. Free throw good from Pippen. I think what you most appreciate about Pippen, at least I do, is his versatility. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds, he passes, and he defends at a really high level. Now, here's Scott. Back to Hardaway. Six to shoot. Scott with a screen on Jordan. Hardaway, no good. The Bulls leading by three. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Longley against O'Neal. A three ball. Orlando grabs the miss. Shaq's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Scott and stolen by Jordan. Armstrong dishes to Kukoc. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
you know, who coaches a crafty, unpredictable, good size swing man, which helps him keep defenses guessing and gets them to overcommit, and he's able to draw the foul. Kukoc hits them both. You know, Tony Kukoc can do it all in a way few guys can. I mean, this guy's 6'10". He's got good ball skills. He can score. He rebounds it. He's an excellent passer. You just don't see this diverse skill set that often, especially in a 6'10 guy. Now here's Hardaway. He's got six. Here's Shaq. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. He'll normally convert on that finish. The defense got lucky. Down low. And stolen by Scott. Takes a step back. Hardaway finds Scott. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Scott's got eight points. And Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. Boy, what a terrific passer he is. Great floor awareness and does an excellent job finding the open man. Here's Armstrong. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Pippen, and it's Pippen with the jam. And hopefully that one-handed dunk gets him going. I think that's why he went for it. These guys need a boost, don't they? Yep, especially in a game this close. No question. Now here is Hardaway. Knocked away and stolen by Jordan. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Passes it to Pippen. Grant against Kukoc. And there's the pass to Jordan. Outside for Pippen. Shot clock at five. And they're running. Scott with the ball. He's picked up by Pippen. And Scott that is a steady role player. Actually a little more than a role player. This guy's a lethal sharpshooter from deep and can really stretch the floor. The Magic shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the Magic making a change here. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. The Bulls leading by three. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Armstrong passes to Pippen. Jordan with it. Defended by Anderson. Yep, that one goes. Pippen's got 19 points. Great to see a big effort against Pippen defensively, but it's just not enough to contain his great skill. Hardaway against Jordan. Pass to Scott. Pippen with the steal. Now, here's Jordan. He's tightly guarded. One shot on the way. And it's Orlando with the rebound. O'Neal's got eight rebounds in this game. To the inside. And Shaq with the slam. Well, here's a center who can put up 40, 50, 60. I mean, there's really no limit to what Shaq can do scoring the basketball. And here's Armstrong. Pass to Pippen. Outside Jordan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. The first free throw is good. What separates Jordan from others, in my mind, is his singular focus. Nothing comes between him and the ultimate goal of winning the game. Bushler's checked in for Chicago. The Magic trail by five. Now here is Hardaway. He has six. Poked away. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That's foul number two for him. So for the Bulls, Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Bush. Harper comes in for Pippen. And Kerr is subbed in for Armstrong. Shaq kicks to Hardaway. Fires for three. Only grabs the miss. Chicago leading by five. Here's Kerr. Seven points in the game. Passes to Jordan. Five on the clock. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Jordan's got the lead up to seven now for the Bulls. Smooth as silk. 
MJ with one of the best pull-up jumpers you'll ever see. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And Orlando has possession. Outside Hardaway. From past the arc, Tony Kukoc comes up with the rebound. Kukoc has got four rebounds now tonight. A drive by Jordan. Outside, Longley. Back to Jordan. Free throw line jump shot. That one off the back iron and out. The Magic trail by seven. Hardaway with a wide open look. Once again off the mark, Orlando. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan for the Magic. Reynolds comes in for Scott. Shaw subbed in for Hardaway. The Magic have gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements. Here. here is Shaw. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And here's Anderson for three. They get it back. Get this man the ball anywhere near the rim. He knows what to do. Harper with the ball. Now Kerr. Kicks to Harper. Back to Kerr. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. And Harper slams it in. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Here's Reynolds. Eight points for him. Shot clock at six. Now the dish to O'Neal. That's tipped. Hard to shoot over seven foot two. Longley getting all of that one. Kerr outside. And the pass to Jordan. Kukoc from outside. Good. And it's Jordan picking up the assist. Jordan's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. The Magic trail by 10. Here's Reynolds. Pass to Shaw. Screen by O'Neal to the middle. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Shaq's got four points this quarter. Superb work from Shaq. Rolling with confidence after setting the screen. Pass to Harper. Outside, Kukos. Pass to Jordan. Five to shoot. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Orlando. And you can't allow Michael Jordan to get inside positioning. Once you do, you pretty much have to foul. Bulls shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Grant, he's checked in for Orlando. English comes in for Anderson. And the Bulls making a change here as well. Will Purdue's checked in for Longley. Orlando's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. And Shaq with the slam. You've got to keep a body on O'Neal. I know it's easier said than done. Or if you don't, he's going to eat you alive on the lob. Harper the pass to Kukoc. Stolen. Here is Shaw. Defended by Kirk. English. Chicago grabs the miss. I'm sure he's upset right now. He had a space. Had it all lined up. But just couldn't convert on the mid-range jumper. The pass to Harper. Outside, Kukos. Inside. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Great on both ends of the floor. Shaq making his presence felt defensively there. Sending one back. Simpkins, he's checked in for the Bulls. Pippen comes in for Jordan. Just five to shoot. Purdue the screen. Here's Pippen. And the Bulls with another miss. And so English will bring it up for the Orlando Magic. 
trailing here by eight. Here is Shaw. He's guarded by Harper. Here's Reynolds, and they pick up two. Reynolds has got ten points in the game. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Bushler's check in for Ron Harper. Jack Bushler. Bulls leading by six. Pippen is just a curve. Here's Simpkins. He's covered by Grant. And it's Pippen slamming it down. You know, once he finds his rhythm, gets into a groove, he just needs to stay aggressive, and that's exactly what he's doing. Making himself dangerous on offense. English looking around. Pass to O'Neal. Grant trying to break free. And Shant gets it to go. O'Neal's got eight here in the quarter. Assertive move. You can tell this game's heating up. English against Kirk. Pass to Pippen. Here's Bushler. Back to Pippen. Six on the shot clock. A jump hook. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Magic trail by six. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, man. How good is that? You got to love watching him rise up and finish with power. But Clark, when the defense is this weak, you should expect to get dunked on. They deserve it. For sure. I tell you, they deserve it. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were expecting. It's their fault giving him these kinds of opportunities. And Chicago has possession. Following the bucket by Orlando. The jump hook. It's hauled in by the Magic. Grant's got his sixth rebound on the night. Gardner seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed to. Yes, sir. I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results he's seen. The chemistry so obvious on these alley-oops. Fantastic sequence there. Plays like that, Clark, bring a team closer together. For sure. Yeah, I like when guys take initiative and go after chances like this. Fantastic finish. Clark, he's made a habit of dunks like that. Very comfortable off the floor. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter. Feeds it to O'Neal. Good ball movement here by the match. Here's Reynolds. 12 points for him. Shaw. At the clock, winding down, and the dunk by O'Neal. You know, even when you try to box out Shaq, he's still capable of grabbing the ball. He's really just a hard, difficult matchup. And here's Kerr. Seven points in the game. To the left side wing. From the arc. And they get it back. Back to Pippen. He gets it up. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for Chicago. He was a true standout at the offensive end. Both with his scoring and his passing. Back right after this. trailing here. Here's Hardaway. Pass to Shaw. Harper with the steal. And now here's Pippen with the fast break chance. Points, assists, rebounds, defense. Scotty Pippen gives your team all of that. Every team in the league wants a guy like him. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Bulls. That free throw, no good.
And the second free throw, good. The Magic trail by three. Here is Shaw. The way up top to the paint. Here's Anderson. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. Hardaway has got his sixth assist on the night. With the game in the balance, he is ramping up his intensity. You can feel it. And that's exactly what Coach needs from him. A big offensive effort down the stretch. Here's Armstrong. Outside, Kukos. Pippen, the pass to Harper. And Harper slams it in. I've always liked the feel for the game that Scottie Pippen has. He's a dynamic passer, folks. We've played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. O'Neal is screen on Harper. Shaw passes to O'Neal. Here is Shaw. Rocket six. Screen by O'Neal. From 15 feet away, that is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Shaw. Boy, oh, gets some space and hits the big time shot. Exactly what the doctor ordered. He yeah, found room for mid range. You'd think the defense would be keying on him. Pippen is doubled. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. to Hardaway. Kept the live Orlando. The shot's good from Shaq. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Magic. The bull shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. And here's Armstrong. Now the pass to Kukic. And Pippen slams it in. Tonight, Scotty Pippen has taken over, showing he can be the guy on a team. The Magic have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Outside Hardaway. Looks for O'Neal. Gets it to him. The kick out to Anderson. Passes it to Shaw. Just five on the clock. From outside the arc. And it's Harper with the rebound. Chicago leading. to Armstrong. And here's Pippen. Kuko just screened on Anderson. Off the left rim. And Boy, he knows he's going to have that one. Down, especially with the defense. I'm not going to give up to an F. Pass to Shaw. Or the way against Armstrong. It's blocked. Hard to shoot over seven foot two. Longley getting all of that one. And finished off by Longley. Oh boy, Luke Longley. Nasty. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. And Mike, there's a surprise. An intentional foul. That's an interesting decision there. Yeah. Not sure why he decided to foul in that situation. I'm not either. Catching up on the changes for Steve. Chicago. Will Purdue's checked in for Long. Jordan comes in for Scotty Pippen. And Kerr subbed in for B.J. Armstrong. Now, here's Kerr. Harper the pass to Jordan. Jordan is double. Hardaway with the steal. The kick out to Anderson. And the dunk by O'Neal. It's a challenge trying to keep Shaq off the offensive glass. He's got so much size and strength. Jordan looking it over. Outside, Kukos. The pass to Jordan. Back to Kukos. Here is Jordan. He's covered by Anderson. Just three to shoot for three. Kerr doesn't go for him. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Kerr against Hardaway. And that's an intentional foul. 
Why they foul there? Let it go. Time and score. You have to be aware of both. Horace Grant, he's checked in for Orlando. Now O'Neal. Down to five on the shot clock. And they recover it. Hard work on the glass that time gives them the ball back and they get a chance to milk a little more clock. Hey, we know Shaq can bully you, but he doesn't have to. Got the craftiness and the finesse to get it done in other ways, too. That one is off. Blunt, he's checked in for Kukoc. And it's tied up with that one. Able to tie the game up, but unable to give them the lead. Now, here's Kerr. Outside Jordan. To the inside. Blunt passes to Jordan. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. Shaq's got his 16th rebound on the night. Anderson against Kirk. Hardaway kicks to Grant. Orlando moving the ball around. Here's Anderson. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Bulls have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. And the dunk by Jordan. A true combo guard. Harper provides defense and scoring. And he can pass, too. He does it all. Orlando, they've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. And Shaq with the slam. Just get it anywhere in Shaq's vicinity, and he's going to finish it off. I love seeing him hammer home the alley-oop. So it's Chicago now. Kerr with it. This is it to Blunt. Michael Jordan on the wing. Outside Harper. Pass to Blunt. And they double up Jordan. Four on the shot clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Hands it from downtown. Blunt's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Nice work with the catch and shoot that time by Corey Blunt. Here's Anderson. Another shot. Oh, that's blocked. The Bulls leading by three. Kerr, the pass to Hart. Here's Blunt. Now Jordan. Guarded by Hardaway. Pass to Purdue. Kicks it out to Kerr. Jordan against Hardaway. Another one falls for Chicago. Firing on all cylinders right now. Jordan is showing no mercy and getting any shot he wants. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Here's Kirk. Pass to Blunt. Purdue with the ball. Guarded by O'Neal. Shaq against Purdue. Kicks it out to Kerr. A three-pointer, no good. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Hardaway. A shot missing. Jordan with some nice D. Chicago leading by three. And here's Kerr. Harper the pass to Jordan. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And sometimes Jordan's impossible to guard, which forces the D to foul him. They throw good, Jordan. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. And Orlando making a change here. Shaw's checked in. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Longley's checked in for Purdue. Kukoc comes in for Blanc. Pippen's checked in for Harper. And Armstrong subbed in for Kerr. 
The defense keeps fouling him, and he's making them pay for it. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Michael Jordan really making a difference here. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Matt Gukas coaching his team during that break. He told his guys the inside game is working, so stick with it. That means posting, slashing, getting to the rim, whatever produces these high percentage looks. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Now here is Hardaway. Outside, Scott takes the three. The offensive rebound. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. I would not want to ever go against Shaq when he's battling for position, folks. I mean, he's big, he's tenacious, and he's a fearless rebounder. Bulls have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Now Armstrong. Pippen finds Jordan. Back to Pippen. Shot clock at five. And there's Jordan. That's good on the assist by Pippen. 34 points for Jordan. It is a given. Jordan loves delivering in these big moments when it's an important possession. He wants the ball and the shot. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Surveying the D. Here's Scott. O'Neal. Great positioning on the putback. They need a bucket and they go right to the die. Shaq is always ready to step up and deliver. Here's Armstrong. Jordan, right side. And the Bulls take on two more. It is a given. Jordan loves delivering in these big moments when it's an important possession. He wants the ball and the shot. Now a timeout called by Orlando. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. I mean, he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Matt Gukas coaching his team during that break. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thank you, David. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Following the bucket by Orlando. Armstrong passes to Pippen. To the middle. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. B.J. Armstrong, no stranger to having to take and make big shots like these. Now a timeout called by Orlando. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Time to talk it over. They got to put their heads together to figure out how to slow him down. He's covered by Armstrong. Here's Shaq. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Teams will often try to put Shaq on the line in these situations. Let's see if he makes them pay for their disrespect. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Chicago. So the first one drops, and that narrows the lead down to just three. So he hits both. 
Those free throws were a must-haves, and he delivered. It's down to a one-possession game now. One forty-six left to play in the final quarter. Right side, Jordan. Shot clock at six. It's hauled in by the Magic. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. Throws it up high. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. 116 left to play here in the fourth. Back to Kukoc. The rebound by Grant. Orlando trailing here. Here is Shaw. Grant outside. Pippen against Scott. Pass to Shaw. To take the lead. They get the rebound. And again. The big man has big game and big personality, so he is not afraid of the big moments. He gets it done in crunch time. So Phil Jackson's decided to take a timeout here. Steve Kerr checked in for B.J. Armstrong. by the Magic. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Jordan against Hardaway. Looks for O'Neal. Gets it to him. To take the lead. And good! There's another. Simply as calm as you can be in that situation. He's got that mentality. Doesn't shy away from big moments. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? A chance to tie it up right here. They know it's at stake here, and so does their coach. They need a solid play to knock this one up. Now, here's Kirk. Pass to Kukic. Down low. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on Horace Grant. Jordan wants the ball in his hands in these high-pressure moments. He has a great deal of confidence in his abilities, and rightfully so. And both free throws good for Jordan. Excellent composure at the line there to tie things up and give them a shot at overtime. And Kukis will take a timeout. Here's Hardaway. O'Neal passes to Grant. Help! Big shot for Grant there late. That'll give this guy some confidence. Chicago to the Now into the lineup for the Bears. Tony Kukoc, Steve Kerr. And three from Jordan. Good he did it! Oh! It's good! But he oh, did it! Drained it! Drained it! Whoa! He breaks their heart at the buzzer. The most clutch play you're ever going to see.
and the Chicago Bulls will move on. They've got to be excited, but also a little relieved. So much pressure on this team from the media, the fans, and the players themselves. A tremendous opportunity now, just four wins away from a championship. They can see the finish line, but this last hurdle will probably be their greatest test. I'll tell you what, though, winning the Western Conference Championship is a big victory of its own. No matter how this season ends, it's been a success.